In this video, I want to quickly cover how to install MySQL Server onto a Debian or Ubuntu server. What we're looking at right now is a Ubuntu server. It's the latest LTS release, 14.04. Now installing software on Ubuntu and Debian is pretty easy with the apt-get command. What we're going to do here is basically just a single command, sudo apt-get install uh, the Y flag to install without prompts and my SQL server. Now, actually, before we do that, I want to do app cache show my SQL server, which will just give us some information about this package. So we can see here the source is 5.5 and the version it's going to install is 5.541. However, there is actually another package available without having to add a repository or anything like that, just called my SQL server 5.6. And this will get us MySQL 5.6.16 currently. Now there's probably some repository we can add to install this, but that's not going to be the focus of this video. I want to show some other neat tricks in installing MySQL. So normally if we install MySQL Server 5.6 with our usual command, we would get prompted for a password in the middle of this install. And that's great when we're here and we can type in a password, but if we're trying to script the installation of this, we don't want any prompts asking us for what password to use. So how do we do that? We can do a few things. The first thing we're going to do is export a variable, an environmental variable called Debian front end, and we're going to set that to non-interactive. So this is a flag for Debian to say, we're going to run some stuff in a non-interactive way. So don't ask me questions about stuff. So we can make sure that exists. That'd be in front end. Just want to echo out that variable, non-interactive. Perfect. Now the next thing we're going to do is use this thing called debconf. And we're going to set some selections. And what this is, is configuring Debian configurations that may be asked by installation. So when we install MySQL Server, there are specific ones it is going to look for, specific configurations. And if it sees a value there, it's just going to use them. And if it does not see a value there, then it will prompt us for them. So the first one I'm going to do is this one specific to MySQL Server. And it's going to ask for a password. So dev.conf set selections. We're going to set these selections ahead of time. We're going to import the selection MySQL server. It's related to MySQL server. And underneath that, the one called root password. And we're setting the password to root. So the password for user root is also going to be root. And this is one of the prompts we'll usually get when we install MySQL server. Now you may also remember that when you install MySQL server, it prompts you once for the password and then a second time to confirm it. And so we can set that here again. So we're going to set selections again. And this one is just called root password again. We're going to set the password to root once again. So now we have some selections already set for us. Let's now install MySQL server. MySQL server 5.6. All right, great. I've skipped ahead a little bit in the video. But needless to say, we did not get any props. And MySQL is up and running. So let's see, sudo service MySQL status. Right, up and running, and let's try to log in. So I said user root or user root comes with it. Password, I gave it password root, and I'm in. So that's a quick and easy way to install MySQL without being prompted. You can set these selections ahead of time, which is great if you're scripting, if you're using a bash script or something, the installation of MySQL. Now for some cleanup stuff, I like to run MySQL secure installation after any, I'm gonna run a sudo with that, after any installation of MySQL. So one thing we can do is set a new root password. I'm just going to keep the current one, which is root. And then do I want to change the root password? I don't in this case, but you can. Do I want to remove anonymous users? Yes. Disallow root login remotely? Yes. Remove the test database? Sure, why not? And we'll reload the privileges since we made some privilege changes. Specifically, we disallowed root from remote login. Great, so MySQL should still be up and running. And it is, great. And just a really minor note, note that I'm putting the dash P flag here, but I'm not entering in the password here because if I did that, then I could check my history, and I'll grip out my SQL, and then my history would actually show the root password. So that would actually be in a file that people can read. So a safe way to log into my SQL on your server is to never actually enter your password unless it's through a password prompt. All right, so we've covered installing MySQL. We've done MySQL 5.6. We've used the debconf set selection so we can, ahead of time, set some things we might otherwise get prompted for, 
like the password. And then we installed MySQL 5.6 and we secured the installation. The last thing I want to show you is how to figure out what those DevConf selections are. So if we install a little utility here, we're going to get the DevConf utils package. So we can use sudo devconf get selections here. I'm going to grep my SQL server on that. And we should get a list of any of my any selections that this might ask us. So we can set any of these ahead of time. We can see that there's a root password. There's the root password again. And then these are actually different, right? So we have MySQL, which is regular MySQL 5.5. And then we have the package MySQL Server 5.6. So we have some duplicates here. MySQL Server 5.6 also comes with some extra parameters we can set. So for instance, start on boot, we can set true and false, really downgrade. You can Google what these mean, but if you have ever installed a package and it gives you prompts, and you need to know what those prompts are so you can devconf set selections ahead of time, you can install the package on a test server and then install devconf utils, and then finally get selections and grep out the package name. And this will give you the selections you were looking for ahead of time so you can then script your installation of whatever package.